In the Old Testament, people worshiped through animal sacrifice. And animals were valuable assets for food and for trade and for transportation and for li the livelihood of the family. And as an act of worship, God instructed his people. This, this was all the way back, right, in, in Exodus times, where God instructed his people that they were to um, bring and sacrifice their very best to God. Because by sacrificing what was most valuable to God, they declared that God was most valuable. By sacrificing resources that they relied on for survival, they were declaring that God was the reliable one that would, that, that would sustain them and bring them through. But over time, their worship was no longer an overflow of their love and their view of God's glory. Over time, it just became another task they had to get done. And so because of that, they just started bringing their leftovers. They would have a, a whole sheep, a whole like flock of sheep, and rather than bringing the first, the best, to, to declare, God, you are the most valuable, you are the most lovely, you are the one that I cherish. They're like, well, that one's valuable to me in trade, so, do we have one that's kind of sickly, that's got a broken leg maybe, that we can just kind of give? And they brought the leftovers. And God was saying, what does that say about how you view me? That I'm just worth the leftovers? That I've loved you and I've provided everything for you and all, that's, all that I'm good for is leftovers? And I, and I think it brings us to a, a gut-punching question. How many of us give God our leftovers? How many times do we just kind of, at the end of a long week, say, God, I'll just, I guess I'll just give you what's left. I don't have much. Any, I don't have anything. Like, I, I gave my best to something else and somebody else this week. God, I got a little bit left, so here you go. And I just wonder for us, what would it be like? What, what would it look like in your life? What would it look like in the life of our church? What would it look like if we decided that instead of giving God leftovers, we were going to give God our very best, our very first? I, I wonder what, um, like, if we were to give our first and foremost to God, how much lifting his name higher would become easier in our lives and how much East County might change for the, for the glory of God if all of his people here were primarily concerned with bringing God the utmost and the best. Do we worship and give and sacrifice and serve and surrender in such a way that demonstrates what God is worth to us do we worship and give and sacrifice and serve and surrender only what we can spare? Does our worship cost us? Does our worship discomfort us? Does our worship inconvenience us? Because if it doesn't, we might have to wrestle with this question a little bit this week. Because what we've been saying this whole series long is this, God doesn't just want our worship practices, right? He doesn't just want this hour and 20 minutes on Sunday morning, and that's it. He wants our, our lives. Otherwise, this right here doesn't amount to much. We've been called to make, to, to not settle for this idea of worship being just a song not just a moment, not just a genre of music, but who we are. We are worshipers. By what you're worshiping, are you showing God that he's most valuable? Or do we show other things that they're most valuable? 